You're about to meet Dan. Dan is a very enthusiastic patient of Dr. Barbanel and his staff, and he starts with a terrific story about an experience he had with another dentist. Yeah. Dan, why don't you tell us about that? Thanks, yeah. I was, uh, this is very recently, I was, um, I've been a patient of Dr. Barbanel's for 25 years and um, very satisfied. What happened for me is, is really unique and telling for me. Uh, uh, I've been, of course, a patient of Dr. Barbanel's for 25 years, but an incident happened. I was uh, about to leave the country. I had been to Dr. Barbanel's uh, the week before and found out I had a cavity. And uh, it was a Sunday, Sunday, and I called a friend of mine because it was beginning to hurt, and I didn't want to be out of the country and in pain. And there was a local dentist who would see me early Monday morning. And so I made the call, went down to see the dentist, and he said, yes, you have a cavity and that, and that tooth has to come out. And he said, now let me propose to you what, what I think we should do. And he gave me a, uh, a treatment plan that included, that was about five times what Dr. Barbanel would charge for one implant. Wow. And uh, so as soon as I got back from Paris, I went to see Dr. Barbanel, went to the office, was treated, and I got uh, the price that I, that I knew I was going to get, which was five times less than this other dentist would charge. And, uh, you know, that's why, well, that's just one reason I come to, to, you know, I've been a patient of Dr. Barbanel's for 25 years. Now, you said earlier that your family has a history of, of teeth and gum issues. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. you were cursed with something similar. So. Yeah, well, it, you know, the, and this goes to general dentistry. The reason I live, I have lived 45 minutes from Dr. Barbanel's office for the entire time I have been his patient. I live on the west side of LA and we're, we're in Long Beach. Uh, the reason I originally came to him is I had gum problems. And what Dr. Bar and I have two, my father and my brother both lost their teeth quite young. And so I put myself in Dr. Barbanel's hands and what happened was he saved my teeth. Uh, you know, I'm 68 years old and I've had these same teeth uh, for 25 years and I've had an implant and I'm about to get another one and um, I come to this office for service. Uh, not only is Dr. Barbanel a friend of mine, but uh, you know, I trust him. I trust him with my teeth and I trust him with my friends. Tell us about your implant experience. You have one, you've got another one on the way. Tell us about that. Well, um, I came into the office and uh, Dr. Barbano said, hi, Dan, you'll be out of here in 20 minutes. And I said, well, I said I'm getting an implant. He said, sit down. And he, I sat down and I was out of the office 20 minutes later and I had the implant in my, in my jaw. So uh, he kept his word. Wow, yeah. speed dentistry. It's just, well, he just knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing and we were chatting. Well, you know, I, he just asked me about how things are going and what I'm doing and what I'm working on. And uh, 20 minutes later, uh, I was in my car and on my way home. Well, having seen him for so long, you must have a lot of confidence in his treatment plan and, and what he proposes for you. Uh, it, it's really more than that. It's, I trust him. Uh, you know, when you find a, a professional, uh, especially a dentist, uh, what, he tells me what I need and I say, well, do it. You know, uh, if that's what you think is required, I mean, the man has saved my teeth. So uh, there's no price tag for that. So you're a creative guy, you're in the entertainment business, you have to have a certain level of self-confidence. I assume you have to pitch ideas, you have to, you have to be talking to people all the time. Tell me about the self-confidence factor. Well, I've, because I, because I come from a family of people who have lost their teeth, it, my health is really important for me. And the idea, the notion of keeping my teeth, and because when I came to Dr. Barbanel, I was in fear of losing my teeth. Now that was 25 years ago. And I think I've lost one tooth or two, two teeth, okay? Two, yeah, two implants. So. Uh, that says it all for me. He saved my he saved my dental hygiene. You know, Dan, you've said something that sounds almost unbelievable, mm -hmm. and that is an implant in twenty minutes. In fact, it wasn't twenty minutes. Uh, I called Dr. Barbanel, and uh, I had my appointment, and 
uh, I had somehow become rescheduled and I got in and it was my first implant and uh, so I, of course I'm concerned and I'm you know it's another dental procedure and I've had some some difficult dental procedures and Dr. Barbanel just smiled at me and he said you'll be in and out of here in five minutes and I went and so I w got into the chair sat down not only was it painless but I was in and out of the office in and out of the chair in less than 10 minutes. Wow. So, uh, you know, and uh, there was no discomfort, and uh, I had an implant. Uh, you know, <laughs> how do you do better than that, you know? So you had said earlier that you had pain in this tooth that had, it had to be removed to be replaced by this implant. Yeah. And it ended up that the implant was less painful oh, than right. the tooth that was removed. Oh, you know, what's interesting is that, uh, you know, if you're like me or... If, what happens is I have a tooth and I have discomfort in that tooth and, and it, it can go on for a week or 10 days or, or two weeks. And uh, I called Dr. Barbanel, I called the office, I made the appointment, I came in and it, it was over. It was, you know, so uh, there's no reason, no reason to walk around or delay and be in pain or discomfort when you've got a dentist who will take care of you. Dan, tell us if you don't mind about the post-operative experience that you had when you got up after that 10 or 15 minutes in the chair and you walked out with your dental implant. There was no post-operative experience. <laughs> I walked in, I walked in, I sat down, I got numbed, uh, the implant was put in, there was no bleeding, and I walked out 10 minutes later. Uh, there was no post-operative procedure. So just a, few, just a few stitches? No sutures, no stitches. No stitches. So I had, uh, all I had when I, when I came in, uh, I walked into the office, I saw Dr. Barbanel, he said hi, I said hi Ron. I went into the office, he numbed me, uh, then, then he put the, the, the post in, uh, and uh, two or three minutes later I got up, and I wasn't even bleeding. So, uh, and then I went home. Not, not a drop of blood. Not a drop of blood. I wonder what about my business. I mean, not a drop of blood that I saw, and there certainly wasn't, uh, there wasn't any blood in my mouth when I left. So uh, it was that simple. You said earlier you've recommended Dr. Barbanel to a number of your friends. Oh yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, because, not for economic reasons, but I mean, that's part of it. Dr. Barbanel is a good dentist, and I, I trust Dr. Barbanel. He doesn't, I have been coming here for 25 years, he has never done anything that, uh, that wasn't entirely sensible, and I've always been satisfied with the result. And I had, uh, as I said recently, I had an experience where I went to somebody else, and he seemed like a perfectly nice fellow, but he wanted five times the amount of money to do the same procedure. Can't say it any other way.